My friend married a man she called short and ugly. <laughs> Igbo girls are single until their wedding day. Truly, this is funny. I think this is true. Guy, you attended the wedding. Ah, you have mind. I cannot. I'm not going anywhere. Beautiful, heartless queens indeed. That must have really hurt you. Twitter is not fair. Beautiful idiots. Next time, plan Loki. Wow. Not a single thing is even a lie. And I agree. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Zimajin and I film on food, travel and lifestyle videos. But today's video is going to be a, a bit different because I'm going to be talking about what I saw on social media, Instagram, Twitter. And then if you want to know how we got to this topic, please go and watch my previous video on how Igbo girls are gold diggers. Go and watch that video before you come back here, before you come and roast me. On WhatsApp, a friend of mine put up his status, so we got into a conversation, and I'm going to be laughing about the things that I saw on Twitter in this video. So please, if you want to continue watching, encourage me by clicking the subscribe button, hitting the bell beside it to get notified of my future videos, and yeah, join this amazing family on this platform. You know, we do everything with love. You just have to join us. I saw these things on Twitter. And I'm going to I'm going to start off with the one that my friend sent to me so that you know you guys can get what we are talking about. He sent me this one that says my friend married a man she called short and ugly when she first met him at Roban Stores Okwa. Turn out the man turned out he was an unchar businessman. She left a four-year relationship, sent the guy one million and said sorry. I don't blame her sha. Till now, the guy is still the hustle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Evil girls are mean. Like, really. I know these things happen, but... <laughs> this is so funny. Like, the last part kills me. The guy is still the hustle. Like, wow. Wow, really. I remember my guy back in uni. He was heartbroken. She came over, gave him, la gave him last supper, and told him she was getting married the next weekend. Mugbe, <laughs> I have heard of things like this happen in real life, but I don't know anybody that this has ever like happened to. Seeing these things on Twitter, I'm like, you guys should chill. Like, not all Igbo girls are like this. Trust me. My goodness. That was how my guy nearly died. His babe, someone he's, he's known since primary school, all of all of us attend the same school left him for an american bobo who just came back she's always calling him every time now american bobo don't break don't broke this life sha wow i don't know like how would you feel if someone you felt had money and all of a sudden they had their down spots like would you still be in the relationship or are you guys going to leave <laughs> that's how in my 300 level two people dating one couple of the year in the department in a department in my school after the holiday in january we saw pictures of the girl's traditional wedding with another guy remember is it damian remember how shocked we were when we heard about this right guys evil girls are mean for real like why don't you tell somebody that oh you've seen somebody so they don't take it serious and then you know all of this whole thing won't be happening wow wow last my ass out evil girls are single until their wedding day <laughs> truly this is funny i think this is true i mean isn't this supposed to be in general are you not single until you get hooked or you're engaged oh my god i recently heard about this from my friend the girl post her bf speaks on whatsapp status but will always be disturbing me that i don't care about her once i tell her to focus on her relationship and leave me alone she would say she's still single because she ain't married yet sis 
if you're in a relationship you're in a relationship but somehow yes we are single till we get married in it i don't know you guys just let me know what you think about these tweets they are just so funny like really really funny last my answer i was dating my classmate from year one and in year two she gave me invitation to Uban for the following month okay. so see me see, see me so in native to go to my girlfriend's wedding guy you attended the wedding ah you have mine i cannot i'm not going anywhere except we ended on a good note i am not going anywhere like no way as an Igbo girl i can testify that this is so true we marry who is ready not romeo who romeo helped my own sister sent a wedding invitation to her boyfriend of three years a week before her wedding not knowing that the next month was the dude's own wedding so you boys were, you both were playing yourselves like what <laughs> these tweets are cracking me up to be honest like i can't see she even had the guts to invite me to come be the MC of the wedding reception saying her husband would settle me well beautiful heartless queens indeed I don't know what to say said is beautiful heartless queens indeed wow that must have really hurt you we finished our final year exams and project defense I stayed behind for graduation while she traveled to Nigeria. New next thing I saw was her traditional marriage pictures all over FB. Even our friends were shocked. <sighs> I'm sorry. I mean, just imagine finding out that your partner is getting married on social media. That really hurts. In my first year, I was dating an Igbo girl. She went to Imo State for Christmas. When she came back January, she just changed. Madam was what madam what happened blah 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 happy you are still seeing me i would have gotten married when i got home i just want to finish my bsc really sis wow see eh, i was used by an by one Igbo babe then before i knew it boom she said she was going for her, her traditional marriage bro i was like shit after this wedding she still came back to continue saying but at least we've not done church wedding now kai i've been used sha we truly have been used <laughs> when i talk about Igbo women being wicked then go tell me say then go tell me shut up my neighbor in school left her banker boyfriend for two years to marry one boy based in malaysia she met on facebook the banker boyfriend cried tears the day he found out and cursed her. Today he is happily married, doing well for himself with two wonderful kids. The ex-girlfriend has broken up with the Malaysian guy and now Oboro, I don't understand, I can't read the book, I'm sorry. But according to Onicha Men Market Boys, she was a beautiful idiot. People have really been dragging Igbo girls on social media platforms and for me to think that Instagram was fair, Twitter is not fair. Beautiful idiots. Pass my ass out. I remember going to Nsukat and being shocked at this behavior. All the boyfriends knew that they were just holding the place until the original owner comes for it. You guys you guys what is going on like Igbo girls are the shit yes Igbo girls are the shit this video is just so much fun for me to film reading all these tweets is just crazy this is so true my ex did this to me five years ago when i was lucky planning on something to meet her parents bam next thing i got what i got was a message Till date, I don't trust any woman 25%. Woo! God will help whoever I marry because I might still not trust her. She's your wife. Trust is one thing in relationships. You have to trust your partner. 
Somebody now replied next time plan low key. Wow. It's mostly about who is ready for Igbo babes, especially those from Anambra and Imo State. Love comes later for them. Anambra is the worst. The worst part of this thread is that nothing said here, not a single thing is even a lie. And I agree. Not a single thing is a lie. They are all true. They are all true. Yesterday, I asked an Igbo girl to list just three things she likes her man to possess. She said one, he must be wealthy. Two, he must have money. Three, finally, he must be rich. <laughs> Guys, this is the end of this video. We are done. We are done. Don't like twitter guys i go on twitter once in a while because the nigerian twitter there like nigerian twitter is full of angry people like they will always drag you good or bad you must get dragged on twitter i mean you have to be sure of where you're tweeting so people don't come for you yeah it's fun it's crazy but then like I can't deal with Twitter. When I saw that this thing was trending, I decided to go on Twitter and find out what exactly was going on. And you guys, the things I saw were so funny. I don't want to get angry because this is true, but go check out my first video on how Igbo girls are gold diggers. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for hanging out with me. And yeah, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, and make sure to leave a comment. Tell me which one was your favorite sweet in all of this and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye bye. bye. Why was I lifting my hand? Why was I doing my hand like this? Tired.